So let's continue in the mini invasive techniques. Uh, the second debate is about small uh, primary ILA endophytic renal tumor. Cryos uh, therapy will be defended by uh, Roberto uh, Salvioni. Good morning. Thank you for the invitation. I'm urologist. My interventional uh, radiologist, Dr. Carlos Brafico, is now in uh, Berlin at the International Radiologist Congress. Sorry. Um, the cryoablation, uh, the cryotherapy is used uh, to produce uh, a, a temperature decrease in, in the tissues, in, in the tumor. Um, between uh, minus uh, then 20 um, degree and, uh, and 15 degree. Okay, thank you. Um, the damage uh, in the tissues uh, um, is uh, obtained by crystal formation, collective necro necrosis, apoptosis, and damage in the vessel. Efficacy, low morbidity, and uh, short, short uh, hospital stay uh, are uh, required at the um, local therapy. And cryotherapy, and cryotherapy uh, now in uh, cryotherapy is possible to have in two situations um, by laparoscopic approach from the urologist and in percutaneous approach by the radiologist. The difference uh, in uh, control of the tumor is the same in the literature, but uh, percutaneous approach is um, superior in uh, um, diminish, uh, the, the comorbidity, uh, same like uh, operative time, bleeding, transfusion, and etc. For this reason, uh, in our institution now, we prefer the uh, percutaneous approach. So uh, the, the argument of today is uh, the ILAR endophytic small renal uh, mass. Uh, there are different um, definitions, but this um, problem um, is um, now about uh, less than 20% of uh, all renal mass in the tumor in the renal. This is our uh, experience. And uh, now uh, this is the uh, particular experience in uh, uh, ILAR endophytic renal mass. Can you see uh, this uh, uh, lesion is uh, only 11% uh, of the, the all the cases, but it's important to see the good result in outcome, uh, the control of the tumor. Uh, you can see the major complication on fistula arteriovenosa and, uh, and, and, uh, and shock and the transfusion in one patient. But these are associated with the tumor size at the particular site of the lesion. Important to, to see the, the normal renal function preserved in all the patients. Uh, two cases. The, the first is one patient uh, with the, the a big, uh, not a small, uh, right kidney lesion. Uh, after the treatment, at the first control, uh, CT scan uh, show at one mount the uh, arteriovenosa fistula. Uh, for uh, to repair this uh, damage, is necessary to uh, embolization with the radiology intervention. We can see the procedure. And at the end of the procedure, the patient. Uh, uh, conserve uh, uh, the kidney and the renal function. The other case is a particular case uh, who um, um, see in our uh, institute with the proposed by the other center bilateral nephrectomy. We treat this patient, this patient with the uh, TKI therapy and after the response, uh, the patient was uh, um, purpose, uh, um, submitted to radical right nephrectomy and uh, conservative uh, left uh, nephrectomy. But uh, after 
10 months, the patient relapsed in the solitary kidney, and the problem is uh, 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 what do you do? The open or percutaneous calibration or the other? We decide to uh, treat the patient uh, with uh, TKI, and then uh, with the percutaneous calibration. Now the patient is uh, alive without uh, tumor and uh, with uh, um, renal function conserved. Our conclusion, our radiologist's conclusion is, in particular case in a small renal, ILAR, renal mass, uh, cryotherapy ablation is possible. Thank you.